Okay. What's going on, everybody? My name is Mang. Welcome back to some more RimWorld. I think it's been a while. <clears throat> I I know it's been a little while since I recorded one. I don't even know when the last time I uploaded. Because <laughs> I definitely do not upload everything that I record. Oh my gosh, it's been over a year now since I uploaded something for RimWorld. Last thing I uploaded was uh, Bear Grylls Galatross Adventure. And the thing with that one was that that was like a complete run. Like I actually beat that run, and that's why I decided to upload it. A lot of stuff that I record is just like I record, you know, two or three videos for it or something like that, and then I, I just kind of peter off, and I decide not to upload it then. Um, now, Two Brothers Play, we have done some RimWorld stuff more recently. We did some stuff in December. Did some stuff in June of last year, but still, yeah, RimWorld has been pretty absent on this channel, and I actually have not been playing RimWorld either in a long time. Um, and that's largely due to, uh, I've said this before, Factorio. For some reason, the gameplay of Factorio just kind of, like, ruined RimWorld for me, and it's really hard for me to get back into RimWorld now. And they're not really that similar, other than taking place on, like, an alien planet. And that's kind of it. <laughs> um. But I don't know, just the uh, the gameplay loop of Factorio, and the control that you have over every aspect of, like, your base, and things like that, and expanding. Compared to RimWorld's more just, like, story generation. <sighs> And uh, you being a little hands-off with a lot of aspects. Um, I don't know. It just... For, I don't know. I can't even explain it, really. But we have a new expansion for RimWorld. It just dropped today. RimWorld Anomaly. Which is the horror sort of themed expansion. Uh, obviously, there's a little bit of, like, SCP in there. It's called Anomaly. Um, I, I mean, I, I'm sure maybe it's uh, partly just me and my job, but whenever I hear the word anomaly, of course, I think of SCP Foundation. But, um, yeah, so we can give kind of a little rundown of some of the features. Okay. So, yeah, it's it's very clear straight up that Anomaly is a horror-themed expansion inspired by classics like Cabin in the Woods, The Thing, The Cthulhu Mythos, Hellraiser, and many more. Um, your colonists accidentally awaken a dark monolith and provoke an insane machine mind of unfathomable power. Its terrifying manifestations begin to haunt the world, survive these strange happenings as you study the new phenomena and learn how to end the madness. It's not just about fighting monsters, it's paranoia, war, infestation, and mystery. Um, so you've got a psychically invisible hunter of human souls, a massive flesh creature growing across the landscape, um, a mind-controlling parasite, uh, colonists become obsessed with a beautiful golden cube, a pulsating obelisk that can duplicate people, teleport them to a realm of infinite gray mazes, or violently mutate them. And many more weird and horrifying events. Yeah, I mean, there's, yeah, a lot, I mean, flesh beasts shambling undead, death machines. Um, you can build a containment facility to capture monsters and study them. There's a new bioferrite resource to create experimental serums, flamethrowers, hellcat rifles, flesh mutating pulsers. A lot of stuff, man. Now, here's the problem. I can't play RimWorld without mods. And I think I probably went a little overboard, as usual. So it's kind of funny, like, you know, we're here to somewhat experience this new expansion. 
Um, but at the same time, I mean, a, there's a bunch of mods now in my list that are basically expansions on their own, or like mini expansions. So, I, but I didn't, I don't think I really added any mod that's like horror themed in any way. Like, not anything similar to what Anomaly adds. <clears throat> um, you know, a lot of... I think we're playing with, like... Hold on. 232 mod. A lot of this stuff is just, like, new biomes, quality of life stuff. Um, things that add new guns, new fortifications, furniture. Um... Yeah, I mean, you know, several things. Certainly a lot of quality of life stuff. All the vanilla expanded stuff as usual. Um, so I think, I think what is from Anomaly will still be fairly clear. But yeah, you know, there's that. Okay, so for our scenario. Now, there is a new one, the Anomaly. You start with two colonists and one ghoul. <laughs> I don't know if the ghoul is like your buddy or not. Uh, but you start with uh, security door research and battery research. You get some twisted meat. You have disturbed something ancient and inhuman. We could just start with this to get kind of right into it. We got a pump shotgun to start with. Turrets. Some bioferrite. Yeah, let's just... Yeah, this this will make it a lot easier for us to kind of get into the new stuff. So we'll start with the anomaly. Um, For Storyteller, you know, I'm partial to Perry Persistent. But, for the sake of uh, having a somewhat traditional experience, let's go with Cassandra. Strive to survive. And, uh, yeah. Let's generate a world. As for biome, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like biome dictates so much of how the playthrough kind of goes. It's like it's a it's a very big decision right at the start. Cause you don't you don't tend to like move. You know, relocate. So Um I don't know. I don't want to go with something temp like tempered for. I don't want to go with something that basic, but I also don't want to do anything that crazy. Um I don't really want to... I don't know. I guess I'd lean towards something a little weird, but normal temperature. Like, maybe ocular forest. I don't think we've done this. Uh, just kind of lean into the somewhat horror theme, alien theme. A strange red fog produces ranged accuracy almost constantly and reduces colonists' mood. There is a plant that re produces renewable wood, but most of the flora produces red wood, a poor substitute. So, a little difficult for sure, but I think kind of leaning into the, the theme somewhat. So. <laughs> well, there's a, there's a map. I mean, it's kind of interesting, but um yeah it would yeah I don't know I guess maybe something like that I, I tend to just prefer the tucked in the mountain approach yeah sure okay for ideology. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's, let's be kind of corporate. 
We're going to try to be just sort of the foundation here. Um, a lot of choices. This is just for a fluid religion, ide ideology. Um, I don't know if I see any added by anomaly. <laughs> Seem kind of weird. We could go with progressive. Or we could just be kind of boring and just go with, like, I don't know, nationalist or something. It's not that big of a deal. Um... No, I don't... <laughs> oh god, there's... Yeah, there's... Plenty of interesting choices, I guess. Yeah, I don't... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um... Oh, she's scorning autonomous weapons. That seems lame. Uh, sure, we'll go with uh, aggressive. Sure. Sure. Okay, so yeah, we've got a ghoul. Incapable of all work. Okay, so ghouls can't do any work. Ever. And it seems like they just fight. They just attack stuff. They only have shooting skill for some reason and not melee. I'm not sure how that works, but obviously we'll want... Don't want Technophobe. Thick skin could help, though. Sure. This, yeah, Brendan Bangers... Will... Joe jo needs. He's got unnatural regeneration. And they, they cannot work. They only fight. They must eat raw meat. If they go hungry, they can turn hostile. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. So I'm hoping he can just take a gun and he's not just running into melee like a zombie. But I, I don't know. Okay, so really then we start with two columns. So these are going to have to be... Both pretty good. Um, certainly we're looking for someone with... Uh, I don't know, Taz... Isn't bad, but incapable of dumb labor is... Kind of rough for one of my two colonists. Gracie has a lot of intellectual, a lot of social, a lot of crafting, um, natural, yeah, natural ability in cooking and plants, shooting, yeah, okay, Gracie's good, definitely take Gracie. 
And then we're going to want somebody better with construction and mining. And ideally, meta. So I guess Jack isn't bad, but again, incapable of dumb labors. Just a little, a little rough. Um, McGee. He's not bad. Can't firefight, but that's not that big of a deal. Oh, left flesh mass lung. A cancerous mass of semi-sentient flesh. That seems good. And a bad back. Mine is 30% moving. That's rough. Okay. Um. Yeah, we need at least construction four. Pig! No medical, though. Hell of a miner. He's a delicate brawler. Of course he is. Fucking pig. Um, so yeah, we'd be... We'd be a little rough on medical to start. But... Overall, not too bad. Sure. I think combat-wise, we're pretty capable. <laughs> let's let's do it. We got bangers, the ghoul. So I did, you know, fire this up just to, to test, you know, see that it ran and everything, and it didn't seem to have any issues after like half an hour, so, you know. The ancient monolith unleashed an energy pulse that tore your research vessel apart and mutated your crew. Only a few of you made it to the escape pods. Despite the setback, your mission is far from over. If you can learn more about the monolith, perhaps you can find a way to shut it down or harness its inhuman power. Okay books. I don't know if that's from a mod or not. And then ghouls. Humans twisted by biopharite. They can quickly regenerate injuries, making them useful as melee fighters. However, they are incapable of work. They only eat corpses and raw meat. If they go hungry, they can turn hostile. Great stuff. Alright, so... Here's the monolith. Investigate to learn more. It's not a, a step one sort of priority, I think. Step one is going to be shelter. So, let's look at our... Okay, so we have a nice patch right here. For plants. That's good. Uh, this... Yeah, this looks like an ancient danger. That's not... Not that big of a deal. Um, and then building tolerances... Pretty good across the board. I think we're gonna settle in this corner, though. This seems solid to me. So, uh, building materials. I don't think we started with any wood. Which is a bit of a bummer, because there isn't much wood. Oh no, we got wood. We got 250 wood. Yeah, so the, uh... The things on this map. The ocular tree. 
Ocular trees are cultivated plant, also appear in the wild, but can be harvested for red wood. Tree lover ideologies don't much care about chopping down these weird trees. <clears throat> okay. We do have some berries as well. Um, you know, there's some other oddities. But mostly, yeah, red wood. Quite a bit of steel, I think. Okay, my shit landed all over the place. <clears throat> yeah, we have a lot of steel. So maybe we just build out of that for now. Eh, I don't know. Probably should be building out of red wood. get some of that and we're gonna have to cut down these anyways okay so start with just a steel building nothing else um let's just do this as a building and we'll set up a dump stockpile dump uh, so this is going to be materials outside. This will be uh, general storage. This will be general freezer for right now. And we can just go with that. All right, weaponry. What do we got? We have the pump shotgun. We got a pump shotgun, a steel knife, and then we do have apparently some turrets. Oh, a wearable turret. No. Okay, you shoot out turrets. <laughs> okay, interesting. Um. Well, I mean, I guess bangers takes. Do I not? Ha I don't have control over bangers. He just exists. Okay, well then Pig's taking the knife. And Gracie will take the shotgun. I, I don't know what to do with bangers. doesn't do anything. What an odd thing. I mean, I can draft him, so there's that. I guess I can control him if I draft him. has a health stat and food stat. So, I don't think I really have to do much with him. Unless I need something dead. I guess he could just go hunt stuff. But he doesn't have any... weapons? Go melee attack this. He's gonna die. I mean, he's kind of okay. He won. No, no, he died. Yeah, 
Yeah, all right. I, I'm just a little unclear on ghouls, I guess. I feel like... Should I have given him... I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, well. He was probably just going to be a nuisance anyways. He was going to turn on us eventually. He's a ghoul. That's not a good thing. Really, you guys couldn't make the beds... Not a great first day, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, so we have a Star Wars mod. Uh, you know, I'm not big on Star Wars, but it was rated very highly in the, in the workshop. And it sounded pretty cool, so... skill. That is kind of an issue. But we have enough to get her started with good old-fashioned rice. Yeah, I mean, we have a lot of choices. Um, and I really wish there was just a better way to display all this information. Like, this UI just seems so archaic and, and not useful. <laughs> like, if you want to know about, you have to hover over individual ones just to see, like, oh, green beans. Okay, they work well if you plant carrots. Uh, you know. Giant leaf. Doesn't really have anything special, so you gotta look at all the stats. Garlic, you know, can grow in any terrain. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, rice is just so good. Rice is, rice is life. Ah, there are uses for the other. I mean, it. I am somewhat fond of growing chickpeas. <clears throat> um, because they have good yield, they grow quick. Um, they just don't stack very much, so you need a lot of storage space, but that's a pretty small concern overall. Bees! And get some beekeeping going. I really just want to get this second. I didn't. Yeah, red wood. I don't have a lot of it. Just a little more red wood. And we'll want to get our toilet set up, as usual. Just 
simple little toilet. Ah, uh, yeah, throw in a water tub in here. Check. Okay, so far so good. Um, yeah, I mean, we've got a little bit of plants. Could expand that quite a bit. Uh, we want to get separate homes. Yeah, we probably also want to start just setting up a perimeter. I assume we want the monolith within our perimeter. This will be important to us. Probably. All or things. I do have some twisted meat. Can I eat this? Yeah, apparently. Got bioferrite to begin with. Fun stuff. Fun stuff for sure. Okay, yeah, let's get uh, some more crops. that rice and then uh, for a secondary crop something more useful we don't really have much plant skills so I think heal root and stuff is kind of yeah it's not gonna work um so much fun like these mods just add so much fungus and it's like i don't know who's growing all this fungus cotton i guess is good or you get some beer going smoke leaf I do like smoke leaf Let's get some cod. For now, rice. I guess I could grow some potatoes as well. Yeah. Rice and potatoes. Staples. Okay, a proximity detector. Capable of detecting invisible creatures. I guess we probably want that. Somewhere? I don't know. And then there was the turret pack. Okay, we got turret pack. Hey, get it, get a turret pack good for you. Yeah, I mean, the, the idea of an invisible murderer is uh, a little concerning. Um, I think maybe Alpha Animals or something like that had like an invisible tiger or something like that that could hunt you down. That was always concerning. build our homes here. Yeah, I'll 
start off with that. Then we got, you know, a couple, couple extra rooms of prisoners or whatever. fallen monolith has begun to stir. Slowly it begins to twist and rearrange itself, morphing into something new. Within a matter of days the process will be complete. Be prepared for whatever comes next. Four days, 23 hours. It's going to twist and morph. Doesn't seem good. Uh, I'm gonna have Bracy investigate this. See if we can't learn something about it. Maybe I don't want it within my walls. The monolith's dark metallic surface is warm to the touch, and Gracie thinks she can hear a faint hum emanating from inside. The lines on its dusty surface seem to squirm in unsettling patterns. Gracie focuses on the shapes, trying to uncover their meaning. The hum strengthens. The shapes begin to flow in Gracie's vision, but the surface isn't changing. Power begins to uncoil in the empty space all around. A black shape is forming in her mind. The anomaly is stirring. I don't know if it's a good idea to focus on it, but sure. Oh, this can't be good. This is not be good for anybody. Oh, shit. As the monolith twisted and changed, Gracie was overcome with a horrifying vision. In an instant, she understood. The monolith is a doorway, just barely cracked open now. Something dark beyond imagination stirs on the other side, seeping into our reality. Terrified but excited, Gracie is convinced she can learn more if given the time to study the monolith. Building category unlocked, research tab unlocked, entity codex unlocked. You can now study the monolith and other entities to gain anomaly research. Great! Colonists assigned to dark study work will study diverse entities including creatures and structures. Study structures like the Void Monolith by selecting it and toggling the study option. Okay. Oh god, I don't have an... I didn't get... I knew I was gonna miss some sort of mod when I was grabbing stuff. So yeah, we don't have a... A mod that rearranges the research tab. Great! Look at this nonsense. Okay, but there's the research. The anomaly tab. Uh, you can have both a basic and advanced project active at the same time. Void provocation. Biopharite harvesting. Entity containment. Okay, well, um, I guess the Void Provocation sounds pretty cool. Devil Strand flop hat from that guy. And a blanket of gritty fog has descended on this area. The fog smells ancient somehow and it stings the skin. The unnatural grayness of it invokes a sense of dread. Great. Yeah, we need holding platforms. We need a lot more than that, dude. Harbinger trees have sprouted nearby. These gnarled trees grow fresh, flesh-like coverings that can feed on corpses and raw meat placed nearby. If well-fed, the grove will continue to grow. In a tribal myth, these trees are the emissaries of a shapeless god who rules an endless black ocean. The myth ends after the shapeless god reaches up from the water and tears down the sky. Great. Well, yeah, so those are, yeah, those are from the, um, from the expansion. There's plenty of horrible stuff going on here, man.
I could see Anomaly being an expansion that peop some people, like, actually turn off for certain playthroughs. And uh, I didn't really ever think about that for any of the other expansions, because they all just seemed like, yeah, you know, not a big deal to have the Empire involved and royalty and, uh, you know, pregnancy and stuff like that. That just adds to the game. But this is like... The tone, like, is such a shift, you know? It's like its own thing now. Even the music. Sight Stealer Reveal. A twisted creature has appeared out of thin air. Emaciated and misshapen humanoids. Their arms end in sharp, curled claws formed from bioferrite. Sight stealers are fragile, but use psychic influence to render themselves invisible until they get close to their victims. They are known to emit haunting screams as they gather on their terrible hunts. Great. Okay, well, fuck them up, man. Ow. Yeah, it's, it's awful. Okay, proximity detector can be researched now. So yeah, I don't have a holding platform to capture this thing. Uh, we have a holding spot. I guess. Capture him. <laughs> he's in there. We can't see him. But he's in there. He also needs to be treated. He's gonna bleed out. No, we must study him. Gracie, get up. You uh, I mean, you could tend to pig, but let's tend to our, our subject first. Good, good. Yes. Yes! Okay, good. <clears throat> um, yeah, this game's so dark now. Uh, what should our faction be called? The Foundation. We've got very humble beginning. Our settlement is named Holland. <laughs> now we'll call this uh, Site 19. Yeah. I should have just called it Site 1, but whatever. Yeah, we got vehicles now with the vehicle uh, mod. So we can turn this rocket artillery wreck into a working vehicle. Into a Buria. Pretty cool. I don't know what's all involved with that, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, this is this is the this is SCP uh one. The sight stealer. I guess no, the monolith would probably be uh zero zero one which kind of makes sense so this is just zero zero two and this is our first containment cell very basic uh but all right rice is uh is nearly there so that's good we do want to get power going power though did we we start with batteries right 
Okay, yeah, we do start with batteries, which is really nice. Because then that means that we can just go for, like, a windmill instead of actually relying on... Or a wind turbine. Okay. So let's get... A wind turbine going. I don't know where to put this. Yeah. Okay, we'll have to destroy that. And we can move these beds now. We'll go with two, and then uh, some batteries. Uh, for now, let's do one battery. Quite a few components, actually, so... through the through the ancient danger we also have hidden conduits twice as expensive yeah that's that's great fuck it no one wants to see conduit all right group of ferals meaning one feral jet Armed with a steel knife. Well, Jed, you're going to experience the power of a pump-action shotgun. So I hope you're prepared for that. I don't have to feed this thing, right? Like, it's, 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 it's a fucking anomaly, you know? It just exists if we study it. Strange. It is anomalous. Good. That's coming in hot. for the wind turbine. Stop it. Oh, shit. I don't have running gun, so this is a problem. There you go. 
Bull. Damn, resilient. I'm so used to combat extended. This fight would have been over ages ago. Shit. Um, yeah, self then I guess. Uh, as for Jet, probably just gonna die. Yeah, he lost an arm, a leg. Uh, it's not looking good for you. I guess I'll strip you. Crawling away? Whoa. That's new. Now you're dead. That's what you get for damaging my wind turbine. Oh, the turret was pretty good. Kind of helped. Uh, let's connect our invisible thing. Oh yeah, the red fog or whatever of this area. Yeah, it reduces accuracy of ranged weapons. So melee is kind of preferred. Proximity detector. Oh, a mass grave. That's a mod I don't have. Yeah. I love mass grave. I will have to add that. Now, I guess... I don't know. I don't want to put a grave for this person. Here, I'll put it over there. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah, we can fucking plant these things next to the Harbingers. Create corpse stockpile. There you go. Um, there we go. Yes, feed. Feed my trees. <laughs> yeah, they're consuming it. Yeah! Excellent. I don't need bass grave anymore. We got harbinger trees. Perfect. Okay, but, uh, so we got rice. Not massive amounts of rice yet, but we got some rice. We should probably also kill some sort of animal. Uh, because let me show you. We, we've got a mod now that adds a lot of meals. You know that I love food mods. I just think they're swell. So, let's add in that. We're going to actually want to make a freezer. But for right now, let's just get a table going. With some stools. We have a war merchant here. I guess we could chat with him. Racy could chat. Uh, 
Um, they got a lot of jerky, herbal medicine, various weapons. I guess, yeah, for Pig, getting something better than his little dagger. Like a Spatha. Can I afford a Spatha? No, of course not. Well, wait a minute. I got, I got wake up. I can sell. I got go juice. Um, these books are pretty good. Snake under the stars increases void provocation. Hmm. Curious. I don't really want to sell packaged survival meals or components. There's no way I'm buying the Spatha. I guess it's a question of, is this light club any good? Four damage per second. Four damage per second. As compared to, uh... 6.5 damage per second with 18% armor penetration. I think our knife is better. Oh well. Uh, okay, so let's make this into a proper freezer. So, one of the mods is Temperature Control Unit, which is kind of interesting. It functions as both a cooler and heater, depending on, you know, the actual temperature of the room and what you set it at. So, you know, for one room, like a bedroom, year-round, you know, it can heat during the summer, or heat during the winter and cool during the summer. Pretty handy. Uh, but it is more expensive to make, so... For our freezer, we just want the cooler. There's also the industrial stuff. Uh, but I don't think we need that. Wait, what is this from? Vanilla temperature expanded. Versus replace stuff. Why does replace stuff add an overwall cooler? Well, this one's ex cheaper, so yeah, what do you think? Wind turbines are going full speed ahead. These large batteries store a lot. And I don't quite understand numbers. I don't know what WD is, and I don't know if that's ever explained anywhere. Ever. Probably. Our Harbingers have expanded. They're loving that corpse. Oh yeah, they love them corpses. What is the benefit to me, I guess? Uh, I mean, it's a meditation thing. Oh, you can harvest the Harbingers for wood. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Okay. So we want to set this to... Yeah, we did that. All right, so meals. So you got all your normal stuff. Simple meals, fine meals, lavish meals, all that sort of good stuff. We also then have bakes, which involve flour uh, to get, you know, better... You know, you use less normal ingredients and you add flour, so those are nice. Desserts, of course, but then we have all these other fun meals that have been added, like rice porridge and popcorn and a lot of them. <laughs> so these correspond roughly, you know, to the, the simple, fine, lavish, gourmet process. So like minced meat cutlet is a lavish meal. Uh, 
Broughton is a lavish meal. Um, what else we got? Norwegian style meatballs is a fine meal. Polenta is a fine meal. But, you know, it just allows... Ideally, we would have the Variety Matters mod. Which really no one is... I mean, it, It's definitely not been updated for 1.5, except there's like a Chinese translation that's been updated for 1.5. Uh, but that mod overall seems just kind of ancient, and no one seems to really update it much. I could have sworn that there was like a new alternative... Uh, I, it wasn't called Variety Matters or anything like that, but I thought it did, like, the same thing. And I was like, oh, great. You know, now we have a, a new version. But I can't for the life of me find it or remember what it was called. So, ideally, you know, if you, if you have that mod where you kind of have to feed your colonists different types of food and stuff, um, this would be really great. For us, I think it's mostly just somewhat of flavor. Um, now, there is rice porridge, which is actually a conservative meal, which is even lighter than a simple meal. But it allows us to use exclusively rice to make shitty, shitty food. Uh, but if we got just a bit of meat, we could then combine the two to make, like, uh, stir-fried meat and vegetables in a large bowl. So, I think we should try and get some some meat on hand. Make some of those. Uh, which means that we're going to want to go hunting. I haven't really said any of this stuff yet, but Racy is our hunter. Good. And we do have a Razor Jack here that we could hunt. Who will probably... Shred me. Give it a try. We can run back to the, the group. Things go awry. Try to find. so weird to, like, not think about ammo. Like, you don't have to think about ammo, but at the same time, like, your guns are just worse, you know? Yeah, I, I, that shot didn't do a whole lot, so we're retreating. Save me! Don't shoot me, though. Perfect. How many does it take? Thanks, guys. You're the best. And they even left me a... Gift, a nerve spiker. What the hell? Crossbow-like device that throws rough spikes embedded with a paralytic biotoxin. Low damage, but it stuns non-mechanoid target. Well, that sounds fun and good. Um, I don't know if it's better than a shotgun. But I guess, combined with pig melee, it's probably better. Hold on, I can equip it as a sidearm, though. Hell yeah. There you go. Okay, so we got a bit of meat. We got our wall-mounted cooler. Uh, so we're going to drop that down to full temperature. Let's get rid of this blood bouquet. And can we get our rice inside at some point?
Oh, Jesus. What a haul. No, why did you eat raw meat? No. Wait a minute, what is this? Oh, this takes cooking six to make. Oh, shit. We might be... Might be eating. <laughs> Rice porridge for now. Cooking two. Okay, gotta get our cooking skill up. But, you know, no... You know, let, let's not do the, uh... Let's not do the, the raw stuff. There we go. We got our rice porridge. Are you eating? You eating my fucking rice porridge, dude? We gotta teach this iguana a lesson. That he'll never forget. That she'll never forget. Sorry. Right, hold on. I'm gonna set this up. I wanna stun him. Yeah, it gets done. Boom! Combo Wombo! Should we do it on this blood shrimp as well? Oh, he's got an artery blockage. We'd be doing him a favor. Two colonists is is pretty slow. It's definitely faster than one colonist, but it's pretty slow. We're doing some stuff with void provocation, so that's good. Once she's done hauling steel from every corner of the map. Group of bison. Ooh. Big bison. Oh, man. And they got napalm shells. 13 glitter world medicine. We got to kill all these bison. Okay, I think they're going to they're gonna go to bed. But in the morning, we're going bison hunting. I gotta set them up with the uh, biphasic sleep. It's just a better schedule. The wanderer join. Deep space mine. It's gonna turn out to be a mimic or something. wood at the moment, so you're gonna get a nice steel bed. And don't mind the uh, the invisible creature in a holding cell next to your room. It's perfectly fine. Thirteen melee. And she's also a brawler. This is pretty good. We need, just need another melee weapon now. Good with construction, good with mining, good at crafting. Overall, this is a pretty solid character to join, unless she turns out to be uh, a traitor. Or it, it, she's all—they're always going to be something. These fucking wanderers are never good. It's terrible, terrible. All right, let me just see. Make. Uh, yeah, club. Good club. Ooh. 
really? Containment strength. This is improved by stronger walls and doors, more light, few other entities in the room, and special containment devices. Uh, okay. Alright, so, we, yeah, we need to upgrade this to be steel. Um, there's definitely a button for that, but... Is there not? A replace steel. That, that's cool. Cool mechanic. Alright. Uh, okay, so we made a baton. Yeah, I mean, that'll, that'll do it. Oh, she's also got feral pistols. Wait, what? You can't even shoot. You don't need those. Get the baton. Good. Okay, now I wanted to take down the bison. For some reason... Oh, because I didn't put a fucking door in. Oh, I... Why aren't they going into my freezer? Why do they hate my freezer? Wonder why. There you go. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Uh, no. Stop it. Stop it. Let's do this. Where are those bison at? They leave? Aw, oh, did they leave? Damn it, they left. Oh, I need to jump on that so much quicker. Damn. 13 Glitter World and Bison Meat? For free? That's a foolish thing to miss out on. Uh, we should put in a light. They officially added wall lamps now. Into the game. Crazy. Also, we need a burn pit. The height. Burn pit. And we should put in some proper walls. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna need steel. Acted machinery there. Uh, uh, uranium, compacted steel. Okay. Where's the uh, the other stuff? Okay, there's a bunch up there. Whole bunch right there. 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 Yeah. You know, it's not abundant. All goods trader coming in. have so many rice... Oh, because I didn't put them in store. Yeah, I understand. Just converting all rice instantly to porridge. Oh, yeah. Christina worked quick. Good. Good, good. Then we can set up a perimeter. Um... Yeah, 
I guess for now, let's just go with that. It's fine for now. And down here, yeah, we want to include all that. So let's just do a bridge. Let's see. How about that? So for now, just that. Yeah, so we have some walls. We have an idea of what our base looks like. Things like that. You know, we'll want to probably set up a, a kill box. With traps. I saw... Yeah, I was looking at all like the most popular mods. When I was building the collection. I saw one of the most popular is to just make spike traps even better. Like, uh, hold on. Like, it literally is called Better Spike Trap. Yeah, Better Spike Traps. And so, yeah, it makes it so that you can place spike traps next to each other as much as you want. Like, they can, you can just stack them all next to each other. There's no distance limitation. And it reduces their cost from 45 to 15. And this is one of the most popular mods. And it's like spike traps are already, like, kind of obscenely overpowered in the early game. Like, they were balanced, sort of, for a reason. Um, but, you know, that's mods. They're, they're all optional. Um, but I feel like probably Lego grabbed that mod, because he's big on spike traps. And I don't think he, he minds if they're even better. Um, yeah, we should talk to the bulk goods trader before they leave. They're, they're leaving. They're, they're gone. Okay, great. The farming trader. We want to get a cat. We could buy a cat. A little zero year old kitten. Why are they so expensive? It's just a cat. It's not even anything special, but it's just a cat. 242 bucks. I can buy a Velociraptor for cheaper than your cat. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. I can even nuzzle with the Velociraptor? Fuck yeah, we should buy it. Uh... All right, I guess I could sell my... That won't be enough, will it? Not quite. Okay, we'll sell a component. All right, we got a Velociraptor. Badass. Okay, let's, uh... You can be in here. You can be anywhere in here, dude. I have decreed it. Let it be so. Where'd you go? Give him a nice animal sleeping spot.
so tiny. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, do we have someone good with animals? Uh, pig? Pig is okay with animals? Yeah, he's alright. Minimum handling skill, three. Okay, so we're fine. Raid from the Mindless Band. What a time for you to raid. See, I told you. I told you. Like, it's ridiculous. I like that you became a trader outside of the walls next to a fucking trading group. Are you insane? Now you're dead and you're going to be food for the Harbingers. I told you, like, wanderers. They're always something. Like, they're never just going to be like, yeah, I like your colony. This is cool. And then, but if you refuse the trade, you, the the wanderer, your colonists get upset with you. They're like, oh, why didn't we help them? It's like, you don't understand. I've been doing this longer than you. They're evil. They're always evil. Kaisuki. Uh, we could kidnap Kaisuki. A kind insomniac. Really good melee, good plants, good art. Instruction. It's not as good as Katrina was. And we'd have to convert him. Uh, but he's got no health issues other than the fact he was shot like seven times. But aside from that... dagger. Or stomping all over my home. I guess that's nice of you. Strider kite. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's an upgrade. Alright, uh, prisoner you will see the benefits of our way. Full batteries. A forsaken patriot named Alistair. things considered, Alistair's not horrible either. It would be nice to have another intellectual. Um, shit. I don't have enough buildings. Okay. Let's, uh... We got merchants constantly. got up. Another merchant. Like, god damn. Uh, 
Yeah, all right. Uh, I'm going to have to end it off here for now. There aren't things to do, but overall, you know, not, not the worst start. Uh, the ghoul was sort of weird. Uh, I don't know how that would have progressed had he not died immediately. But, you know. And uh, the monolith has is, is just been sitting there for now. It was very scary at the start, but it's been okay. And so far, you know, just a relatively normal little peaceful colony here. Yeah, I'm sure things will get a lot more horrific. For now, though, my name is Mang. Game you're watching has been RimWorld with Anomaly. And I'll see you fine folks in the next part.